Lamb Swee. Welcome to Lamb Swee. Today, we're going to review and rank the top five must play shrines of Breath of the Wild Second Wind. Ready, set, go. Number five is Toto Sa. The Toto Sa shrine is a reboot and it's less focused on the apparatus that you had in the original and more about searching for ways to get to the next part. It has some additional enemies and a new layout. And really, it's absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite shrines just because of the way that it's laid out and updated. It has beautiful backgrounds, beautiful scenery within the shrine. It's relatively easy, but it's gorgeous. And I love this. It's a must play at number five. Number four, Mayam Agana. This is completely changed and updated in environment and puzzle. The original shrine is pretty straightforward with the apparatus that needs to be manipulated. All of the apparatuses have been removed and the shrine layout is built in a way that you need to use your logic and Sheikah Slate with various runes in order to get through. The new environmental layouts are beautiful. There's new enemies and there's new areas to explore. This thing is long. Just when you think you've completed it, there's another section of it. This is reminiscent of a dungeon type of shrine. Number three, drifting. The original shrine of Breath of the Wild is very easy. As soon as you get past the crazy flower lady. In Breath of the Wild Second Wind, the redesign completely reshapes the shrine inside. It doesn't do much to the environmental aspects of it, but that's what makes it even more difficult. This is a maze, and the difficulty of the puzzle is ramped up to an 11, which is a good thing. It would appear that the designers put a lot of TLC into this particular shrine. Just when you think you're done with it, there's another portion of it, and there's another piece of the maze. Number two, To Yasa Shrine, Buried Secrets. The modders went out of their way with this one with sweeping environmental changes and additional puzzles to make this a new shrine that's fun and challenging. The environment is beautiful and different secrets to go through and find. This really takes the Buried Secrets Shrine to another level. And the number one must play Breath of the Wild Second Wind is Cam Urag. This shrine update is one of those that is more comparable to a traditional Zelda dungeon. It's an amazing recreation. It has new layouts, new enemies, new environmental changes. This shrine is one of the more thorough shrine overhauls that beautifully and completely creates a reimagined shrine. This overhaul pulls in the ambience from the statues outside and gives it a spooky feeling as you explore. Which shrine do you think was the best from Breath of the Wild Second Win? Leave a comment below and let us know. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Lambswee.